A record number of bands graced the stage for this year's Junior Kadumit. The event was held at a new venue, the National Botanical Gardens. Festival and event planner with the National Cultural Foundation, Stacey Bryan, said the bands on parade included schools which were involved in the Junior Masquerade program. This year we have a record of 25 bands in Junior Kadumet. Sunshine Snacks has been a global, signal global finance, have been two sponsors who have really allowed us at the National Culture Foundation to ensure that the costume programs have continued to run in the schools and the community groups. We have had lots of behind the scenes, as I said, meetings with the band leaders, the designers, the artisans, I mean the wire benders. Learned, the children learned how to make their costumes, design their costumes, and um, you want to transfer the skills. And also we make sure that the next generation is aware of what's happening in this particular art form, which is masquerade. Ahead of the parade, there was also a landship display by schools which participated in a training program this past school term. We were training younger musicians in playing band music in terms of accompanying the landship and so on, doing the calls, the insignias from our designers in terms of the schools. So every school should have a landship, you know, and we have to uh, remember what the, the cultural heritage is about. It's not just about the performance, but it's about bringing a community together and making sure that everybody is well taken care of. Arthur Smith Primary was among the schools on parade. Band leader Keisha Granham explained the concept behind the designs. And we wanted to highlight the different effects of climate change on the planet. So we started with the increase in heat and temperature that we've all been experiencing. Then we went to the cause that these um, tidal waves and tsunamis. And then we moved on to the effects on nature, the animals, the um, <laughs> monarch butterfly, the fish, the uh, migratory birds, and the plants as well. And then we finally highlighted how we can prevent these things with prevention and cure, where we looked at the solar, re renewable solar energy, where we had the solar light bulbs, the solar panels, and the electric vehicles. There were also a number of community bands, including the Lender Hand Band, which paid tribute to the splendor of Oyston's town. So we're looking at Oyston's town in the past and the present and the future. So the first section is the refish, and we're talking about um, protecting the environment. It's very important to a coastal town like Oyston's. And then we're looking at the people of Oyston's and the fisher folk and the contribution they made to the society and in Christchurch. And the last section is us imagining what Oyston's can be like in the future. So we're looking at 2050 and looking for wealth, prosperity and economic development and keeping relevant in times to come. The prizes up for grabs include Best Festival Designer, Best School Band and Most Colorful Band. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.